Hello, uh, my name is William Harvey and I've had the pleasure of providing service to Hampton University for 42 years. One of the things that I've tried to do and prioritize is to follow the model that our founder, General Samuel Chapman Armstrong, instituted here in 1868. He said that he wanted two things. One, a top flight academic program. Today, that would be called workforce development and the development of character. He further stated that of the two, he thought that the development of character was more important. And I, as a 12th president, feel the exact same way. I was taught by my parents that the character traits of honesty, integrity, respect for oneself, respect for others, good personal behavior was something that we should follow. And I have tried to do that in all of my adult life. So here at Hampton, part of the model is to provide the top flight academic programs and to build character. As a matter of fact, I believe that the building of character is the quality difference. This is what enables us to really be one of the top universities in not only this region, but in the entire country. For an example, even as I make this video, we have four satellites flying. No other institution in this region has that. We also have the world's largest proton beam cancer treatment center, where we are treating uh, such things as prostate, breast, lung, ocular, pediatrics, head, neck, and brain cancers. We also have a giant antenna that can predict storms up to 25 uh, 100 miles away. Storms, uh, tornadoes, uh, hurricanes, and we've been in the last two hurricanes 100% uh, accurate. When you wrap all of that around, in my judgment, the prettiest campus in the entire world, we've got water on three sides and the students can uh, not only enjoy but study on the on the waterfront. It makes for an institution that's very hard to beat. We're looking at excellence. And I want to thank the uh, Eastern Area of the Lynx for focusing on HBCUs because since really 1837, we have been here serving America. Now what I like to end with is simply saying that Hampton is a proud HBCU, but the fact is any objective analysis will show that Hampton is one of the best modest sized universities in the entire country. In closing, let me say that I want to thank the Eastern Area of the Lynx Incorporated for standing with our HBCUs.